Island, guys. How's it going? Bailey, aka Red Run Retro, back again for another video. Cheers for everybody who's watched the last video. If you haven't watched it already, go check it out. Um, like I say, this one's a bit of a weird one. I've saved all the packages from this week that I've had sent in. Uh, there is nine packages, equals up to about 16 items. I've saved them all, just especially for this video. I asked a couple of guys on Instagram to see if they'd enjoy it or not. So, yeah, we've done that. And here are the packages. So, let's have the first one, shall we? Jesus, where's a ton? So this one is, you can just tell by the way it's packaged and where it's come from, is a little bundle deal I did for the gentleman, whoops, on Facebook. There we go, carrier bag, classic. So it looks like he sent us a few freebies in. Some sick vintage WCW cards. They're pretty cool, so we'll pop those on the side, maybe show those off later on in the video. So first one, got a super nice. Marilyn Manson, 2004, I believe. So quite late on. No, sorry, my bad, 2003. I'm on the uh, Fruit of Loom tags, maybe the hardest tag to date. That's a pretty cool t shirt. Dig that one. What have we got here? Nice little Sum 41 shirt. You don't really see Sum 41 stuff. It's kind of uncommon. Nothing on the back there. Let's see if it's got any timestamps. No, nothing but from the uh, all killer no filler uh, days. That's pretty sick. What have we got here? Real nice slipknot, long sleeve, classic slipknot with DS on the back. Which one's this one? 99. Really, really nice one. This one. I think it's a size large. So I'll try and make it work, but I'm an XL 2X usually. So got a sleeve print there. Sick. Uh, I remember him showing me this one's quite interesting. So it's a Green Day warning. So this will be like, uh, I think it's like early 2000. It's a parking lot bootleg. He said he got it out uh, inside the stadium when he went to go see Green Day back in the day. Pretty cool graphic. Weird tag though. France 98. Strange. These bootleggers would just grab any t shirts they could just to save on costs, you know, rather than paying. Through the ass to get gilded and our fruit of the loom at the time. Ah, uh, this one's really sick. I know quite a few guys are gonna really enjoy this one. Got a 1999 Pokemon tee. Really cool. Pokemon stuff seems to be uh, popping at the moment. You see there. 1999 Nintendo. Pretty stoked off that. He gave me the, all of these t shirts for quite a good deal. So I'm happy with that one. And we got this one. That little South Park. I think this would be 99 as well. 98 that one comedy central pretty cool you usually see the south park guys the the gang but not the whole population of the town so that one's pretty cool and last but not least from this bag this one's pretty sick i don't know what is that okay it looks like a faded jitties nice little bootleg m&m pretty cool with a chainsaw you see m&m tees pop up you know it's uh a lot of bootleg merch from Eminem back in the day. This one's pretty sick, so. Yeah, stoked on that one. It's pretty dope. Next one, please. Oof. This one's come from Germany. I usually try to save the plastic bags, but the paper ones are no good. Nice and uh, clean film. This one's really, really sick. I was kind of waiting for this one in the post because this one probably. One of my favourites. So quite simple from the front, another slip knot. Then you turn it over on the back. From zero to nine, sorry, zero to eight, you've got all members sort of drawn into all their numbers. That's really, really cool. And then time stamped by Blue Grip again. This one's from the 2000s. Super sick piece. Really cool to see a long sleeve. I just think it's such a clean design, something so different from what Slipknot would usually do. So I really like that one. This one's from in the UK. I'm not actually too sure which this one is, so. Okay, sick. So I spoke to a guy maybe about two or three weeks ago and he says he had a hymn shirt for me. I pulled up on my story. Him, one of my favourite bands from when I was younger. Uh, never been able to find t-shirts in sort of bigger sizes. Uh, we were all a lot skinnier back then, but whoops. 
Just a nice one there with Villavello on the front. Then the him back hit. He said he'd send that in. Uh, I better send him some money, actually. So, yeah, but pretty cool one. Real nice. Looks dead stock, like it's never been worn. Real clean, stoked off that first him shirt in the collection. Jesus. Oh, took my head off. Again, no idea which this one is. I've been going crazy during lockdown, just spending money and grabbing things. So. It's well packaged, whatever it is. And a nice body care bag. Always reuse your bags, never chuck them away, folks. Okay. I know exactly which one this is now. So it is a 1999 Pet Shop Boys t-shirt. Very, very plain. Uh, not usually something that I would go for. But as you can see there, Creamfields 1999. For anybody who doesn't know, uh, here in the UK we have Creamfields, which is a big, big festival. A lot of rave and dance and stuff. And then back in 99, Pet Shop Boys had played on Anvil there. Really cool. Single stitch. So I picked that up on eBay for quite cheap. I'll probably just uh, took it away until I forget about it and it might be worth some money one day, so we'll see. There we go. Oh. Try and save the plastic bags like I say, but they're a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Now nah, I'm just going with it. Sweet. So this one's totally different from what I would usually go for. My friend Naif, aka Horazoot on Instagram, has been making these custom flannel shirts. I've seen him posting these up, but they just keep going so quickly. Managed to get one in my size. This is really cool, something totally different. But I think it'll look really, really clean with sort of a nice vintage shirt underneath and some nice denim. But you can see the attention to detail is crazy. I'll uh, post his Instagram down below uh, so you can go and check him out. He's doing a lot of customizable stuff at the moment, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, not too sure which this one is. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to reuse the bags. There's nothing worse than people just getting plastic bags and chucking them straight in the bin. You know, it's expensive and you might as well reuse. Okay, don't. I'm stuck. <laughs> so this is uh, from Stir Mags on Instagram. Again, I'll put his link down below. So the first little piece is just really, really cool. I believe these are all 99. Sweet. WWF Attitude Era. Stone Cold jersey from the front. And it's got a few of the wrestlers on the back. So it looks like you've got DX up top there. I can't really see anybody else. There's another Stone Cold at the bottom. That's really, really cool. Something sort of very late 90s. That looked cool under sort of like a white tee or something like that. And then the same tag, I believe. These are crazy. I'd not seen these ever. Um, he'd sent me photos and I was like, those are insane. Again, on that Attitude Era tag. These are crazy. All the way down the bottom there. Just like a stone cold print. Those are sick. I think I'll definitely wear those when it starts getting a little bit colder. Something just, you know, it's nice to have in the wrestling collection. WWF churned out so much merchandise back in the day. So it's cool to get different pieces like that. Oh, there we go. I know this is from the bag. This is from Talking Threads. So people who follow me on Instagram. What am I doing? For people who follow me on Instagram. Um, I did a trade with Talking Threads. Uh, for the Smashing Pumpkins tea I got. Unfortunately, the Smashing Pumpkins tea was just a, just a slightly uh, too small for me. And Talking Freds, Lucas, I, say, I don't know his name, but Lucas is there. He had this Dead Kennedy shirt. Super dope, he's wrapped that real nice. So let's get into it like Christmas. Super sick. Wanted a Dead Kennedy shirt for the longest time. And he delivers with this beauty. Amazing, no tag. But it is single stitch. Real, real nice fade to that. So, so stoked. So you would have seen this design. Supreme uh, ripped this one off for their collaboration. Oh, God, I can't remember when it was. But it was such a sick collab. They did a lot of old sort of... You would probably seen these photos in like the sleeves of the CDs. But I'm really, really stoked off that. Can't wait to get that on body. And I know he'll wear the Smashing Pumpkins more than I ever would have. So, really cool one. Down to the last two. So this one is from Belgium. I think I remember which one this is. Let's have a look. Again, tissue papered. Let's see. Cool. Oh, let's have a look at that. It's like a vintage postcard. That's pretty sick. So it says, 
visit Fabulous Las Vegas. Quite weird coming from Belgium, really, but and then enjoy the shirt on the back. Super sick. Really stoked off this. It was sat on eBay for a long time. It was at a ridiculous price, but I messaged the dude, managed to whittle him down, and really, I don't understand. I think a lot of people, if they'd seen it, will be kicking themselves for not keeping it. Always a nice tag to see. We've got the NWA, fuck the police bootleg. Absolutely fantastic. So I spoke to the dude who is originally from Belgium. He used to go to one of these stores that sold all the rap bootleg shirts. And he says he's had this in his collection for a long time. He had some crazy stuff. He had a Snoop Dogg, an Ice Cube, another NWA, but he had this. I think this is just so clean. Such a statement piece, you know, with that back hit, you really can't beat it. Um, yeah, super stoked off that. That's definitely going straight into the collection. Trying to build up the hip hop um, tees because, you know, they're quite hard to find here in Europe. But yeah, really, really stoked off that. And last but not least, like I say, it's, it's kind of a blind unboxing, but I've tried remembering what's in these. This one's from Greece. So the dude used to own a store back in the day. He, uh, been speaking to him, he sells a lot of all the European bootlegs and stuff. And I said to him, do you have any Wu-Tang Clan? You know, and I was just I was expecting a no. He's even sold it. And he said, yeah, actually, yeah, I managed to keep one in my personal collection uh, for a little while. He says, you probably won't want it. It's a little bit too expensive. I chucked him an offer. Managed to grab this absolute beauty. Wu-Tang Forever. Absolutely insane piece. Really, really stoked off this. The first sort of um, Forever era I've got. Usually got all the earlier pieces. The nice European back hit. Feels real stretchy. So that's nice. You can just tell it's old. Hopefully no dry rot. Seems good at the first couple of pulls. So yeah. Sort of saved the best to last, I guess. But this is such a super dope tee. Really, really sick. Kind of hoping it fits. Should be cool. But yeah, Wu-Tang stuff is always welcome in the collection. Absolutely love that. So that took a lot of willpower to keep all these parcels sort of, you know, wrapped up and to open them for the video. But I'm really, really stoked to have done it. Um, it's cool to get my reaction on video, I guess, you know, and show off the pieces that you can pick up. We're all still in lockdown, you know. And these are all basically from all online. So it's pretty sick to see what you can pull and sit down on your phone or your laptop and, you know, end up buying. There's some really cool bits out at the moment. So I'm really, really stoked with every single piece there. So I'll link everybody's Instagram that I've purchased from in the bio. Um, yeah, some of the sickest guys in the game. You know, Horazu, he's doing the sort of customizable stuff and that's really sick. Stomags gets a lot of nice wrestling stuff in. And then Talking Freds is just an all-over collector and buyer and seller, you know. Fantastic, real nice guys. So yeah, stoked off that. Until next time, like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to take photos of these now and put them on the Instagram. Peace. Take it easy. Back, back.